Oh, right. So here we are converting six sevenths, the six, sorry about that, uh, into a decimal using long division. And that's a way of saying, okay, take your numerator six and divide that by the denominator seven. And here we can think, well, seven going into six, less confusing. Let's think of it as 60 and really scale our answer down by 10 times because um, 7 going to 60 would be 10 times larger than 7 going to 6. So if we just kind of think of it as 60 and then keep that decimal point in there, we'll get the, the right idea. So 7 times 8, well, that's 56. And now this is really, of course, 6 times minus, excuse me, 6 minus 5.6, but we think of it as 60 minus 56 proportionately scaling it up so it's easier to work with. And then, well, 7 goes into 40, right? Not into 4, but 40. We keep adding zeros to make this easier to think about. Well, 7 goes into 45 times because 7 times 5 is 35. And 40 minus 35 is 5. Well, 7 goes into 5, well, I think it was 50, right? Add another 0. And it goes into it 7 times because 7 times 7 is 49. We subtract here. 50 minus 49 is 1. Does 7 go into 1? No, we can think of it going to 10, right? 7 goes into 10 one time. And 10 minus 7 is 3. Does 7 go into 3? Well, that's difficult to think about. Let's think of it going into 30. So 7 times 4 is 28. And 30 minus 28 is 2. Well, does 7 go into 2? Well, we can think of it going to 20. And 7 goes into 20 two times. 7 times 2 is 14. We subtract these, we get 6. Does it go into 6? Well, they are going into 60. And it goes into 60 8 times. And what's happening here is that we're starting to get repeating digits. And that is because this is in a repeating decimal. That just means if you kept going, this pattern would never end. You would always see the pattern of 8, 5, 7, 1, 4, 2. And here it starts right here, 8. And then 5, 7, 1, 4, 2, so on and so forth. So I encourage you to try that out. But what this means is that 6 sevenths is the same thing as 0 0.857142. And this line above means it's repeating. So it goes on forever right, with this repeating pattern. And that is just the tip of the iceberg for me. And our next video will show what kind of ties together 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 5 and 6 sevenths. It's really exciting. So check it out. Thanks.